Hi guys, this is Leon Terry of Tahila Cakes and I'm back again to show you a demonstration on how to paint your cake in gold. So uh, in this case we have used, um, we have covered the cake in white fondant and I'm, uh, I already have my gold here. I have diluted it and I'm going ahead to paint on the, uh, on the white fondant and then I will be back to show you how the first coat, coat looks like but for now let's see how it goes. Okay, so I am painting just a thin coat. Okay, I don't know if you can clearly see what I'm doing. You can come closer for them to see. So I'm just going to paint the sides because I'm going to flood the top with ganache. So I don't want to waste the gold for the top because it won't be visible. Okay, so I'm just going to do a thin coat first. I see how it comes out. Then I can decide whether to go on and apply a second coat. So this is how you do it. See the kind of brush I'm using? There's a set. I bought this as a set from uh, Lisa Vito. Lisa, Lisa can supply you with this, okay? So you need to contact her for your set. Okay, so I'm going ahead, I'm going to go ahead and paint the entire cake and I will be back to show you how the first coat looks like. So I'm back and this is how the first coat looks like. As I had said, I'm not going to touch the top coat, I mean the top side, but there was too much excess on the, on the, on the brush and I decided to just clean it up with the top part, but it's absolutely okay. I'm still going to flood chocolate ganache there, so no problem. So this is how the first coat looks like, or the first layer. So I, I think um, for me it doesn't look quite okay, it's not quite complete. So I would opt for a second coat and now uh, I've already uh, prepared the, 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 what, the gold. Oh, by the way, this gold, I got it from Eagle's Hive. Eagle's Hive, Eagle's Hive in town, CBD, Central Business District, here at Nairobi. So you can get the same at a very, very affordable price. It's really quite a nice, uh, good quality gold. And for me, quality comes first, all right? So let's go ahead and do a second layer. And I don't know if you can notice, but uh, it's actually already changing for better. It's becoming, it, it, it has this, it has a better look. I don't know if you can see that. It has a very, very good look on the second coat. So I would advise you, you, you go for a second coat. See that? It looks very nice. So I'm still going ahead to, to cover with the second coat. And let's see how this goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, there's, uh, there are different ways you can you can paint your cake with, with gold. It doesn't have to be on fondant. I did this particular one in fondant because I needed a certain shine on the gold. And I knew with white fondant, it would give me that, that very bright gold I needed. So the other way you can do this is um, crumb coat, uh, do a, a, a nice coat of your cake with, uh, with buttercream. Vanilla buttercream will do. Then uh, you freeze it. You freeze it, and uh, once it's well frozen, you can go ahead and paint, and it will give you a very good gold. Okay. So I think I'm done. I've gone round the cake. I think it's okay now. We have the same shade all over, all round. Again, I have so much gold here and, oh God, this is not the gold you want to waste. It's too much, okay? 
see the type of gold I'm using. It's like molten lava, you know? It's like lava, really nice. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a very, very nice gold. So I'm just going to scrape off excess first. Try as much as possible to get off excess. Then I can. Oh, this is too much gold. I think I'll just keep this one to brush off to give a a, 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 a slight brush on the cake board that will be covered with fondant. So I'll keep this aside and I'll that will be used later. Okay, so there you go. I've painted this in gold. So I'm going to go ahead and um, flood the top with chocolate ganache and I'm going to do the drips. And as promised in the previous videos, I was going to demonstrate how to drip on cake. All right, so I have melted chocolate here. Oh, sorry, I had told you I'm going to use ganache, but I changed my mind and decided to use uh, plain uh, tempered chocolate. So I've melted chocolate and always try, I always try out my chocolate from the back side of the cake. So that's how I try my chocolate to make sure it's, it's the consistency I like, it's consistency I want. Right, let's go. just dripped uh, done my drips and uh, remember in the previous video I had said that you can actually you can actually pour your drip on um, in a ziplock bag you can pour your drip in a ziplock bag uh, and use the nipple I mean uh, cut off the tip and use it to drip you can use um, certain plastic bottles that you can actually pour in your drip uh, and then you know come you know come with it and pour out your cake. Um, you can if you don't have all that, don't worry. You can actually pour your chocolate drip or your chocolate ganache in a cup, and then use a spoon to uh, to scoop and just drip as you go, so as so that you can control what goes down, what drips down. Okay. So there you go. That's the side, and I'm going to fill this up with chocolate too. So you you cut off your Ziploc bag and pour the chocolate you, you need on top. So I don't want to pour a lot because I'm still going to, to spread this and um, I don't want the excess to pour over to the sides. And uh, offset further three, whatever. Then we spread slowly, slowly to the sides until it comes to the end. Make sure it doesn't, you know, go past. The edges because then it will spoil the beautiful design that you have done on the side okay so yeah so that's it and I'm going ahead to decorate this cake I have so much to top up this cake with all these chocolates Oreos well, lemon and strawberry wafers Bueno chocolates, um, Ferrero Rochas, uh, Kit Kats, all manner of chocolates. So I'm going to top up with this and I'm going to show you the final product.